Welcome to another two cycle sand in the carpet test. So in the past, I have tested this Mila Jazz, but I did it with a 10 cycle test, whereas it went over the same spot in the carpet with sand in it 20 times. We're now just going to go over the same spot in the carpet four times. Hence, you know, th that's where the two cycle comes from. So as far as height adjustments, these two machines are the same. They have automatic height adjustment, which is to say no height adjustment. Whatever it runs at is whatever it runs at. In fact, the Mila on the bottom there says power plus automatic height adjustment. It just it doesn't do anything. Whatever you do after you recline it, that's just what it sits at. And pretty much the same thing with this Hoover Air steerable. So let's put five grams of sand in the carpet and see how these two very different looking machines, very different types of machines compare. Let's move the sand out of the way so I don't mess anything up. And for this test, actually for the next two tests, sand and baking soda, I pulled out a very expensive, completely brand new and never used genuine Mila U bag. All right, let's see what we have for an empty bag weight. And I'm seeing, I think you can barely see it, 56.64. All right, we'll, we'll do that. Now, with this Hoover Air steerable, I can measure the entire weight of the bin. And of course, it's just been refurbed. Hasn't been used to pick any dirt up whatsoever. So it is really clean. Okay, let that stabilize for a minute because it's very tall and wobbly. And I'm going to call it at 928.0 grams for an empty bin weight. Here goes. Power switch is on smooth. I see sand in the bag. That's for sure. All right. Let me get the board of measurement here. The excitement builds. How well will the Mila do? It did very well for 10 cycles. Same way I had before. Okay. Fifty-eight. You can see that fifty-eight point one eight minus fifty-six point six four. We have a raw pickup of one point five four grams out of five and that's going to be a fraction of 
31 percent. I'll just move that. So, you know, honestly, I think I was expecting a little bit more, but, uh, you know, that's not bad. I have a lot of machines that do much worse than that, but honestly, I think I was expecting a little bit more than about 31 percent. Now, on to the Hoover. Get you in closer. All right, let's do the raw bin weight first. We seem to be centered. So the initial weight was 928 even, and this is 929.6. Subtract the difference, and we have a raw bin weight of 1.6, and of course that's out of 5, so that's 32%. I'll move the decimal place to make it look a little neater. Now that's the raw bin, so let's see what we can do to actually extract the sand that fell down to the bottom of the bin. Well, I guess we don't need that just yet. Piece of paper now. I see we got some carpet in there. Okay, that's all I can do with that. Now, definitely have some carpet. Hey, evidence of agitation, right? So let me pick this out. Well, bits and pieces of just junk in there. Couple of hairs. All right, so that's the extraneous mess that's there. Just for fun, let's see what the extraneous mess weighs. Well, less than a hundredth of a gram. So, all right, that doesn't really matter. I'll just get rid of that. And I'll use this tray here. Zero that. And let's see what the extracted amount is. Okay. 
Ah, very different. Okay, so 0 0.69, and then we just, 68, 69, I'll call it 0.69, give it the benefit of the doubt. Divide that, extracted, we're at about 14%. There we go, so about 14%. So quite a difference between raw bin and what you can actually get out of the bin. In the end, as far as raw pickup goes, these two machines are the same. Who would have believed it? The big problem is, and this is something that I've shown in other videos in the past, when you have certain inefficient cyclonic systems, you have a bunch of your debris and it just stays in the cyclonic assembly. It doesn't normally come out unless you do something more extreme than just, you know, a standard emptying. So raw pickup, yeah, these two machines are essentially the same. Who would have known? Maybe I should... Uh, put some kind of label in the video that states something like that. But as far as practical dirt recovery, that is dirt that you can get out of the house, the more simplistic system, that is a bagged system, is able to easily transport the dirt out of your house with less fuss. So it's kind of like a bagged versus bagless competition. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more. And now I've got to get a lot of sand out of that carpet to get ready for the next test. Hmm, wonder what I'll use.
See what's left? See, look at that. So anybody that tries to do tests like this that does not have the ability to properly clean both sides of the carpet, you're going to have a bunch of remaining debris and it's just simply never going to come out. Now I need a good surface cleaner. Hmm. Wonder if I have some battery powered stick vac laying around here somewhere. Oh yeah, how about this dude? Sometimes I need to run a vacuum once in a while rather than just doing tests. All right. See you next time.